the, uh, the start where they're rolling up to the start. The current's taking them as well. See, there's only two men, maybe the bow man, just doing a bit of work to just bring them up so they can get reasonably level. So they look set. Looks like they're ready to get they're they're off. They're out of they're here. They're rowing for the Sam Lecomte Memorial Trophy. New Zealand, Australia, the second of the races here on the Gallagher. Great race 2005. And already we see New Zealand and Australia starting to angle together. John, what are they trying to do? Are they trying to get themselves a bit of a... Yeah, I think... Um, <laughs> Probably the Kiwi is just trying to take a small advantage. They've got a canvas lead already. They're pushing them over to the far side. They probably know the, the, uh, where the first uh, bend is coming, and that's that's reasonably tight for them. They'll be wanting, yes, they've got the, they'll be wanting to get on this side lane. On, uh, it is Australia, though, as we see yep. them just throwing out ever so slightly this yep. first. Look at this clash of blades any minute, and we had this a couple of years ago, recall. Oh, the they start. are just so tight. Umpires will be saying, come on, fellas, just move aside, move aside. Now there'll we be get, no quarter given. We now see a little bit of a break there. It is Australia just with the uh, nose in front at the moment. The first part of the track, they will just uh, start to wheel away round to their right-hand side. Then they've got quite a sharp left-hand turn as they come up around the Hammond Park area of Hamilton. So it is New Zealand just trailing at the moment, only by around about a third of a boat length. Yeah, you can see uh, just Australia's just trying to get that edge when they, they know that turn's coming up. And I know Brian Richardson would have done his stuff. New Zealand were just hanging back a little and uh, just probably trying to move over a little and then put the nail down uh, probably as they approach that bend. You can see there, there's the bend coming up. So they might just hang on the outside. If they can't get a good rhythm going through there, they might just back off and then cut across the inside. So it's a slight right-hand curve that they are yeah. about to go through, but then they've got a big left and then a little sweeping sort of S section as they come past Hammond Park before they get towards the Hamilton Gardens. Yes. It is Australia, and it is an awesome crew that they have brought over here. And at the moment, it is the green and gold with the league, around about half a boat length. Plenty of time, though, plenty of race left for the uh, Sam Lecomte Memorial Trophy working at the moment. John, they just seem to be just trying to get into the first part of this race. How key that start? Do you think they uh, definitely got the best of it, the Australians? I think they, uh, yes, they did. Um, but I think there's got to be a bit of local knowledge here. OK, first time we rode down river, that uh, these guys, they're all experienced oarsmen. I know what's going on. The coxswain, Mark Taylor from Tauranga, he would have had a look at this and said, we know where to go here, fellas. He'd be looking at cutting across the, I'm um, sure of it, he'd be looking at getting across that other side. New Zealand men being stroked by a Hamish Bond. Yeah, He's a uh, member of the uh, under-23 Cox 4 along with Dave Schumacher. Dave Schumacher coming up in the Gallagher Great Race for the University of Waikato. The moment, the uh, New Zealand crew just behind ever so slightly, maybe about a boat length. Yeah. Mahi Drysdale talking to his crew, talking to the boys in front of him, talking to Matt Trott, talking yeah, to Hamish close. Bond. He'll be the leader on that team. He'll be really trying to motivate them as we start to come through now. We're turning to this first left-hand bend in New Zealand. They start to come up on the inside of them. They're getting close. The blades are getting close again, though. John, are we going to see another clash? Oh, I think we Could might. Happen. Yeah. I think you made a good call there before, Nigel. You saw Mahe Drystar. He would know what's going on here. He'd take a bit of a lead role, I think, with the guys and say, come on, let's nail it about now. Cox would be saying to the fellas, let's go. Bit of clash of blades. Oh, this could be fun. Oh, this is a beauty. This is a trans Tasman challenge. It's New Zealand be Australia, and in any sport, you know it's going to be hammer and tongs. New Zealand now just starting to edge up their job. Yeah, just just starting to pull it up there. They know that, it, that they've got a long way to go yet. They're going down river, as I said. They just want to get it uh, pipping along nicely. Cox and be under a bit of pressure. You see this big bend. They're just going around that. New Zealand is in a good position. So New Zealand at the moment on the western side of the Waikato River. Australia on the east. Just to the right of them, it's uh, Hammond Park in Hamilton. That's where they are, and New Zealand's got the nose in front. <laughs> New Zealand's got the nose in front for the first time here in the Trans Tasman Challenge. The Sam Lecomte Memorial Trophy on the line, the Kiwis lifting. This is great, and you see the, their blades, look, they're, they're, they're synchronized as if they practice this. They're going blade for blade for blade for blade. They're moving ahead. They're uh, now a canvas ahead of Australia. So this is good work from New Zealand, real close and hard work this river racing. None of them have raced this uh, down river before, so this is good. This Come, is excellent work. Coming through the Hammond part of Hamilton, they've just taken that left-hand turn. Now they've just got a slight right, so we will expect John, no doubt, to see the Aussies maybe just get slightly ahead on this right-hand turn because of where they are on the river. Yeah, you, you did right, Rachel. They, in fact, you can you can probably start to feel it now about them starting to come through. You get we starting to talk about. Come on, fellas, we really need to pick it up about now. Just want to nail it, and that's maybe why he's got in a four seat. He can get a better view of what's going on, just a bit further down the boat. So uh, there he is. 
Drugin. He's 30 years old, one of the best oarsmen probably ever the, the Aussies have produced. Olympic gold. Of course, that awesome yeah. foursome in 96 is now they start to take this left hand turn. Yeah, you call it good. Yeah, the Aussies now they've got the nose back in front. Now, the concern here, John, as we look at it, Australia around about a boat length in front. New Zealand, though, they've got the nose just on the inside of Australia. Will they be able to hold their position as we see it on the river? Yeah, I think they will. They've got. Um They've got the beauty of knowing that there is another bend coming up, which will be in their favour. Um, I think they'll be wanting to position themselves. You see already, they're starting to come back. They're only half the boat length back. This is fantastic. This is race is about tactics. It's not about strength. It's about tactics. And these guys, they're all equal sort of strength. And uh, oh, they'll be setting themselves nicely for the next bend. New Zealand it's like on car the, racing. It is. This is outstanding. <laughs> and, of course, the key men when it comes to the ta ca tactics will be the... Uh, Cox, Mark Taylor, and of course Mark Duez from Australia. But at the moment it's New Zealand, around about half a boat length behind. They're on the west-hand side of the river, though. Yep. They've got the inside line. Aussie just poking out in front, but they're still on the east as we come through the uh, second of the left-hand bends. And now we've got a bit of a straight run as we go in between Hamilton Gardens on the right-hand side and Sanford Park on the left-hand side. Not a whole lot in it at the moment. Very tactical race, as you heard from John Howard. And I think also they've got the Cobham Bridge coming up, which they're going to have to manoeuvre. But those pilot, piles, rather, they're, they're pretty large. And the coxswain will be making sure that he goes with the current, glides past those uh, those piles quite nicely. Otherwise, you'll be history. So we're around about three quarters of the way. Uh, sorry, about a third of the way through this race, and it's barely anything in it. New Zealand yeah. and Australia. This is for the Sam Lecomte Memorial Trophy. How good is it, John, just to see the black jersey in an eight again? Oh, fear the fern. It's uh, it's great. And I mean, I know that New Zealand rowing would dearly love to have an eight out there, but you've got to have about 20-odd athletes to uh, to make up an eight. So uh, we're building for it, I, I'm sure. And um, these sorts of uh, opportunities to get out and, and mix it with international competition of very high calibre in the Australians is great. And likewise with Washington coming up the other way. So it's the Australian crew of Chapman, Ryan, Conrad, Kubash, Stevenson, Gaddy, Jin and Stewart with the lead. New Zealand only about half a boat length behind their crew stroke by Hamish Bond, Trot, Drysdale, Meyer, Murray, Cottle, Winter, Burson. They're coached by Chris Nielsen, a man with vast experience. Yep. But it is the Aussies at the moment who have got the lead as we start to head into the section which runs right in between Hamilton Gardens, the beautiful Hamilton Gardens on the right hand side and on the left Sanford Park Still around about half a boat length lead to Australia. And we're coming to a very critical part, as you heard John Howard say before, yep. the Cobham Bridge not too far away at the moment. The Aussies, though, with a bit of a lead, it might actually be out to around about a full boat length at the moment. Yeah, the guys, um, the New Zealand guys, they've got into a good rhythm. They're, cu they're cutting into that inside, which I think is a, good, uh, is a good position to be. Might be back three quarters of a boat length at the moment, but I think you'll see with every, uh, with every stroke, they'll get a little closer. Why, gee, they're going into a bit of a narrow, uh, narrow spot here. There are a couple of bottlenecks on this course. <laughs> yeah. There's one in particular that we're looking to at a Hayes Paddock where the river gets very narrow. It's around about uh, Hillsborough Terrace in the uh, city of Hamilton. See, they're moving up on them already. You see, they go through that. They're hanging on the outside, which gets good current. They've come back to about a half a boat length. So they've just taken this right-hand curve at the moment. Then it'll curve back to the left. As, as you heard John say, around about half a boat length. New Zealand in the west-hand side of the Waikato River. The eastern side is where you find the Australians at the moment. The lead looks as though it's around about a boat length and a half, but the looks, looks can be quite deceiving. Yeah, it's probably still yeah. only around about...